Hello all my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is indeed the first time that you're on my channel, my name is Vanessa Samina and I would like to welcome you into the fam. So today's pick a card tarot reading is really special as I not only put a lot of effort, time and love into this reading, but I have also added some new and exciting elements to this video in order to ensure that you receive a soulmate prediction that is as accurate and personalized as it possibly can be. So as you've already established by the title of this video, this is all about your soulmate connection, who your soulmate is, when you'll meet them, and whether you'll end up together. And in order to help you to get to the bottom about all these details that have to do with your soulmate connection, I have for one prepared five groups that you can choose from, and I would like you to pick one of these five groups intuitively. Now what is different and really special about this prediction is that you not only get to pick from these five different crystals there's more a beautiful member of our unicorn tribe named Annie suggested to add groups in a clear audience way so you will have an additional criteria upon which you can choose one of these five groups from which you will receive the first part of your soulmate prediction so pairing each crystal with a sound will make five very distinct groups for you to choose from where you not only use your visual senses but you will also be able to use sound in order to to help you pick one of these five groups. And since this is the first time that I'm adding audio in order for you to choose from these five groups, please feel free to leave suggestions below in the comment section on how I can make my videos moving forward even more inclusive, as I do understand that not everyone might be able to hear these sounds. So Unicorn fam, please let me know if you can think of any other options in which we can ensure that every member of the Unicorn fam, able-bodied or not, is able to make the most of these readings. So choosing one of these five groups, it's pretty straightforward. That's the first part of your prediction. And once you've received your reading from one of these five groups, you get to scroll down into the description box as well as the top of the comment section where I have all of the timestamps prepared for each soul number. After all, this love reading is all about your soulmate. So what better way for you to figure out who your soulmate is when you'll meet them and what your relationship will be like than by using your specific soul number. And if you don't know what your soul number is or how to calculate it, I published a video not long ago on my channel on soul numbers. I will leave it linked in the description box as well as link it up here for you to be able to click that video, calculate and learn about your soul number, and then come back and receive the second and even more personalized part of your prediction. Because in the soul number part of your reading, I plan to use more charms, letters, things like that that can help distinguish exactly who your soulmate is and what life with your soulmate is going to look like. I know this has been a lot of explaining my beautiful unicorn fam, but I want to ensure that you all understand precisely how you can get the most out of your predictions. But now I'll get into it. I will be introducing you to the five groups that you can choose from. If you absolutely cannot make up your mind, feel free to tune into two groups. Group number one corresponds to the orange calcite. Group number two corresponds to the amber. Group number three corresponds to the carnelian. Group number four corresponds to the tiger's eye. And group number five corresponds to the labradorite. But all timestamps can be found down below in the description box and pinned to the top of the comment section. So I will now allow for you to have a little moment of privacy with these five groups so you can meditate on them. And I'll be back to guide you into your soulmate predictions in just a moment. So by now you've hopefully been able to select one of these five groups in order to receive your reading. And I definitely urge you to let me know down below in the comment section, which group that you felt drawn towards and which group and or soul number that you ended up watching. Cause it's always so intriguing to see how you respond to the different crystals and also what soul numbers are predominantly watching my videos. Furthermore, all of my jewelry as well as crystals, tarot decks and other beautiful products can be found on my website bowlife.com it is linked below in the description box and i ship everything out worldwide from zurich switzerland where i live so now let's get into the first part of your soulmate predictions i will be starting off the readings with the first group which corresponds to the orange calcite so if this is in fact the group that you felt drawn towards then please continue watching and to all of my other beautiful groups as well as soul numbers i will catch you at the click of your timestamp.
Hello, group number one, and welcome to your reading. You chose the orange calcite to help guide you. Let's first do a quick close-up of your crystal before we get into your reading. This is the beautiful orange calcite. I absolutely love its vibrant color. It brings a lot of energy and just overall rejuvenation into your life. So if you've been feeling a little sluggish or slow, know that this may be the reason why you felt drawn to the orange calcite. But now let's get into your reading. First off, we've got the azurite as well for you the azurite shows me here that when it comes to your soulmate they are someone who is super disciplined okay this is the type of person who you can count on so we're getting straight into your reading figuring out who your soulmate is what they're all about what their strengths are so in the azurite i do also want you to know that they have some strong placements in saturn and overall they are someone who believes in a strong worth et ethic who has worked really hard to get to where they are right now. Next up, we've got the Larimar. In the Larimar, I can see here that they have this big picture thinking. The soulmate with whom you're going to be with is not someone who will go for the quick buck. This is not someone who believes in any get rich quick schemes. They want to build something lasting for the future. They also feel as though relationships, marriages are built on trust as well as mutual respect and taking time Time to really get to know one another and yes while you may jump into a romance in a very whirlwind quick impulsive type of way they feel as though real relationships are built over time so your person is someone who feels like they need time in order to get to know you properly and to be able to say yes you are my soulmate but once they have come to that conclusion they won't retract it they really mean it and they are the type of person who will stand by that for the rest of their lives so even if you and a soulmate break up come back together they will always view you as being the one basically you're the one that got away group number one next up we've got the ace of swords in the ace of swords i can see here that your soulmate is the type of person who will be on the fence until they're not and then they're just super in love with you okay the ace of swords shows me here that they have those breakthrough moments where they're like wow okay this person is the type of person that i want to be with forever and from that point onwards there is no returning for them i can see here and metamorphosis that it seems like a very big change group number one going from almost feeling maybe like you're friend zoned by your soulmate to all of a sudden this profound change happening and being lovers and being so close and understanding that yes they are putting all of their eggs in one basket and that basket has your name on it group number one it is definitely something that you will need time to get used to as they seem to be a little bit more reserved a little bit more cool and on the down low when you meet them but once they're obsessed with you group number one there's no holding them back they bring out all of the stops especially romantically i see here within the hierophant that you really bond with your soulmate over spirituality and over things that you're both interested in that you have a mutual interest in and that has guided you or took you to places that others maybe can't understand that could be music for example bonding really deeply over a song that you both just feel deep within your soul it could also be of course religion or something spiritual in general bonding over the fact that you feel as though you've had some transcendental experiences maybe you felt as though you grew up in an area where there were some ghosts or even in a haunted house and you being able to bond with your person over these experiences next up we've got the six of rings okay your soulmate relationship is going to be a very generous one they want to assist you they want to help you they want to make sure that things are dealt with financially and that you don't have to worry group number one so anything that they have they will give to you they believe that a relationship is built not only on mutual love trust and respect but also reciprocity in the earthly realms 
and your person's love language is most likely actually gift giving. They love to give you things, not because they feel like they have to make up for something, but just because they love the act of going out and purchasing something that isn't for them, but it's for you. They love to be very generous of spirit. The Six of Rings also shows me that they want to share with family. So that is maybe also where you will have to draw a line or stop them, group number one, especially if they're giving out money to friends and family that always seem to want to loan money from them but never give them anything back or in return so if you end up marrying your soulmate you may have to be the one in charge of big financial decisions but do know here in the six of rings that generally speaking they're just such a generous giving person and that's definitely something that you're able to enjoy i see here within vibration that you just resonate with them on a completely different level and i do also want you to know here in conjunction to the larimar which actually has the number 22 up here which is a master number that having that connect to vibration shows that you both have very special placements in your chart and your birth charts that interact with one another like no other placement okay like you've never experienced before so being with them is electrifying it feels as though your body is on a completely different plane being intimate with your soulmate is something that you just know is different than any prior experiences that you have ever had if there have been any prior experiences and just overall their energy to you is so healing it's such good energy that you will never want to go back to any other relationship once you've been with your soulmate especially physically i can see here in receiving healing that that's exactly what it's going to feel like when you're intimate with your soulmate okay it's like you're receiving healing it's like you're being touched in a way that just restores your energy restores your belief in true love as well as caring for another human being and you not feeling as though you have to constantly be on the fence or protect yourself i do see within kindness that your soulmate relationship is built on that and you're most likely also going to meet your soulmate while watching them interact in a really kind way with a stranger okay so that could be a child it could be for example if you're in a restaurant and they're giving a waiter a really nice tip or just overall complimenting whoever was waiting on them it could also of course be in a day-to-day -day situation like just saying thank you and hello to the people who work at the grocery store because they're a kind caring soul and they find it so important to treat everyone equally and kindness is what really draws you to your soulmate and this is something that also makes them feel drawn to you group number one because they can feel within you that you value kindness over everything and that you actually find it so much more impressive when someone has reached a good standpoint financially like we see here in these six of rings and they have still remained humble even though somehow society finds it acceptable somehow in many instances for people who are financially successful to be rude to people who are lesser so financially successful that doesn't roll with you or your soulmate group number one you two are not about that you want to remain humble for the rest of your existence because respect is where it's at that really shows what type of person you are on the inside so i can see here that your soulmate is someone who's big on respect and they respect you as well as anyone who they meet immediately they don't feel as though respect needs to be earned respect is something that they give to anyone no matter whether that person is helping them clean their car or clean their office or whether that person is a ceo of another company with whom they're trying to work out a multi-million dollar deal i do see here within respect that it is so important for them to always see everyone is equal to meet everyone on a playing field that is leveled out as much as possible and that is definitely something that they also want to bring into the relationship should there be any children moving forward okay the six of rings which is also known as the six of pentacles in more traditional tarot decks is definitely a symbol of family of wanting a large family so if
if you were not sure if you wanted a family at all, do know here that you may have to settle somewhere at a halfway point, okay? So next up, we've got the Seven of Acorns. In the Seven of Acorns, I can see that your soulmate is someone who is very determined. They also have a lot of stamina, so they are a good lover. To say it very simply and bluntly, all of my beautiful souls within group number one, they are good in bed because they are giving, they are caring, and they are not selfish. They have a lot of stamina, so they don't mind giving you extra attention. They don't mind, um, how should I say, giving you satisfaction, even if it takes the whole night or day, group number one, to be a little bit more explicit within this reading so you understand what I mean. So the seven of acorns shows me that they are a fantastic lover and they're also someone who isn't afraid to do unconventional things when it comes to your romantic time. On the outside, they seem a bit more conservative but once you get to know them that facade falls off not that they're trying to put on that facade but that's just how they come off as very quickly if you will because they're not super open to very many people the page of acorns shows me here that they have some fire sign placements within their birth chart which makes them a very enthusiastic person someone who is adventurous and unafraid to try new things we already established that they're unafraid to try new things romantically speaking and this is really great for the longevity of your soulmate relationship because if you end up with the soulmate of yours you will be able to constantly keep things interesting and spicy especially romantically in your love life which is something that a lot of couples struggle with i can see here within the awakening that your soulmate is someone who has come to the conclusion and epiphany that they are ready for a relationship so when it comes to your soulmate and when you will meet them that is basically the question that's still left unanswered but you have the option to be with them because they want to be with you however group number one this is ultimately your decision you need to feel ready to be in this committed relationship with another person as well and you need to feel as though you are willing to spend a lot of time and energy in this relationship because it doesn't matter really whether it's a soulmate or someone who you consider a twin flame or just someone who you're in a relationship with period it takes a lot of time and energy to be in a successful relationship the strength card shows me here that you're definitely a very courageous soul and you have endurance too having two people with stamina endurance and two people who want to make something work in a relationship is definitely a recipe for something beautiful and long lasting so your soulmate relationship has the potential to thrive, to be a lifelong connection, and to allow for everyone involved to feel comfortable, to feel like you can see the future just playing out in a way that makes you all very happy. Well, both of you, and if you end up being in a family, that is definitely a family bond that is healthy. We also have passion here. We spoke about passion, and for some reason, your guides in the universe want to talk about this a little bit more. They want to talk about your intimate life that's what your angels want to do i know it may seem a little tmi but let's talk about it group number one there's nothing to feel ashamed about and passion as well as the seven of acorns and vibration i can see that they're not afraid to bring toys into your intimate space into the bedroom okay vibrating toys for example <laughs> group number one furthermore here in conjunction to receiving healing and the seven of acorns i see that they want you to feel safe so they will never push you to do something that you're uncomfortable with with. however they are a very passionate lover so they may get ahead of themselves sometimes and they may not notice when you're feeling uncomfortable so you need to vocalize that to them okay because they are definitely the type of person who feels as though being intimate with you is a very healing type of thing it's something that makes them feel closer to you and more bonded in a way. It regenerates their strength and makes them feel like they can take on the world, like they are on top of the world. So it is important for there to be a verbal communication between you and your soulmate and to make them knowledgeable about the things that you like and the things that you maybe feel a little bit shy or anxious about. Next up, we've got energy. So I do see here within energy that a big part of your life with your 
your soulmate has to do with energy with you constantly being on the move constantly being on the go trying new things and just overall being a very energetic duo and couple so this soulmate relationship isn't one for the faint-hearted as you're always trying new things you're never complacent you're growing with each other and that's one thing that i see here in connectivity to the awakening card which stands for those spiritual enlightenment and epiphanies right and often people grow in different directions relationship grow in different directions because they're not growing together and they're not going through going through these profound changes with one another so next up in the three of cups a lot of celebrating your soulmate relationship is definitely going to have a marital element in it or just an element where you celebrate the relationship it doesn't necessarily have to be traditional marriage but think to yourself throwing a party on behalf of your relationship i see here within the four of cups someone's going to be sad that you're off the market group number one someone is going to feel like you were the one that got away and it's not necessarily going to be your soulmate i see that oh okay it may be the knight of wands now the knight of wands also has strong fire sign placements think someone who is a leo an aries or a sagittarius you may not even know them group number one you may not even know that this person has a crush on you and would be sad about you ending up here with your soulmate rather than with them but do know that the day that you solidify your soulmate connection is the day that someone is going to feel like you slipped in between the, tr the cracks and they didn't have the opportunity to be with you. So group one, this is the first part of your soulmate prediction that I received for you. I hope that you found it intriguing and insightful. Leave a little peacock emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you made it to the end. However, this is just one part of your soulmate reading. Scroll back down into the description box and click your soul number in order to be fast forwarded to the second and even more personalized part of your prediction once again if you're unsure about what your soul number is or how to calculate it that video is also linked in the description box so you can check that out in order to make sure that you are watching the correct soul number so group one thank you for spending this divine time and space with me and i'll catch you during your soul numbers prediction hello group number two and welcome to your soulmate prediction you chose the amber to help guide you and i wish you could feel this so-called crystal because it is super light it is not actually a crystal it's not actually a mineral group number two now no this is not a prank the amber is often classified within books about crystals as a crystal but it's actually a piece of fossilized tree resin and the amber has been used since ancient times as a a healing stone or, or healing piece of jewelry even these days you can still use amber in order to repel things such as ticks and so on during the summer months i use little amber necklaces on my dogs as this is not only a crystal that helps attract clearing cleansing positive vibes to you but it is also a substance that helps repel unwanted little friends but let's move into your reading group number two First up, we've got the Desert Jasper. In the Desert Jasper, I can see that your soulmate is someone who has a lot of resolving to do when it comes to childhood trauma. They have a lot that they've been through and they are slowly working on overcoming what they have been through and becoming the best version of themselves. I can see here within the Red Jasper, so we've had the Desert Jasper first, now we've got the Red Jasper, that they're also someone who is committed committed to being that best version of themselves and giving that best version to whatever partner that they happen to be with so you're a lucky one group number two because your soulmate is someone who is devoted to the relationship they're not about playing games or being with other people bringing other people into the relationship they're the type of person who is solely focused on being the best version of themselves and then bringing that version to your connection 
They understand that in order to have a relationship that can thrive, there needs to be trust and understanding, and you can't have any unwanted third or fourth parties within any relationship or marriage. So this works really beautifully with the amber as well. As I explained to you, this is actually a stone that can help repel pests, and I can definitely see that that's the type of vibe that your soulmate is on as well. Your relationship is one that is between you and your soulmate. There is no infidelity there. I can see here within the peach selenite that they are also a very insightful person. They are a wise person, the person who is your soulmate always has a lot of people asking them for advice on what they could do next with their life or with investments and they're a very popular person altogether within their family their friend circle and at work because people trust who they are seeing that they are so devoted and committed to personal growth that of course makes them someone with a very high moral compass if you will they're definitely someone who is seen as trustworthy due to that next up we've got the ten of pentacles which shows me here that your person is actually someone who has been very successful when it comes to business when it comes to their career so you will be with this person and they will be able to provide the things that you need in the earthly realms be it not having to worry about groceries or rent they're the type of person who wants to be the type of like alpha in the relationship and that doesn't matter whether they identify as male or female they want to take over a big portion of the bills as they are capable of doing so and they want you to have all the time that you need in order to go after your passions and the things that you truly love the page of wands here shows me that they have a very young energy on the inside however the ten of pentacles shows me that on an exterior or biological plane they're definitely a bit older than you quite a bit older than you and that is why they want you to go after your dreams because they have built the stability in the earthly realms for at least you to be able to do that and it really makes them feel alive to go on adventures with you and see you just be fun and do the things that you love so much because they don't want to grow old being rusty they want to grow old used if that makes any sense right they never want to be that person who's maybe older than their partner and boring they always want to be really fun i can see here within the seven of wands that there was some heartbreak that they had to go through but they came out the other side stronger so your soulmate may have gone through a very rough ending of a relationship a divorce just a breakup overall that caused for heartache but not any type of financial crippling i see that that has remained so they may have had a really strong prenup or may have not made these great financial decisions only until after they broke up with the person who they were with before you prior to your relationship the three of cups here shows me that having fun and throwing parties for you is something that your soulmate loves to do they like to wine and dine you they like to celebrate you and surprise you so birthdays as well as any holidays they're the type of person who will go all out just in order to make you feel like it's a dream come true a type of fairy tale experience so think flowers think balloons think cakes think catered food those types of experiences next up we've got the hierophant reversed so the hierophant reversed shows me here that they have stepped out of any type of religious cults that they may have been in they are no longer in for example a church or so they want to do what feels right for them they grew up in a very traditional household group number two but they then realized that that was just not fitting for their belief system system and their lifestyle which is where there was friction and childhood trauma but they had the conviction to step out of having to lead a life like their siblings or their parents which is also why they created so much affluence 
for themselves, by themselves. They are a self-made person. They are not from a wealthy background because they broke the mold and they broke generational curses and made a life for themselves in the way that they wanted. And being in any type of restrictive religion or cult is just not something that help them in that so they got rid of it they're a very strong person and they want control over their own life your person is slightly controlling so think a type of daddy vibe type of person group number two maybe mommy vibes you you get the feeling in control i can see that they've realized the only thing they can really control is their own actions and their own thoughts but even that is sometimes difficult right when you're going through a tough time so i see that control is an important aspect for them they never want to hand over financial or mental control to another person and they also like to be a little dominant when it comes to the relationship but it could also have to do with the fact that they are older they like their alone time while they can talk to anybody and they are an eloquent person that doesn't mean that they're seeking out spending time with other people no group number two your person is definitely more of an introvert they definitely enjoy just spending time with you and nobody else because they've been there done that they've partied they've had a good time but they've moved on with their life now and they seek seclusion more than anything they seek peace and happiness and just being in drama free relationships more than anything else next up we've got the five of swords so there is a part of their life where there is friction and i can see here within control the ten of pentacles and the seven of wands that this friction is actually within their family with their siblings with the people who watch them detach from a system that was supposed to keep them confined to the box that they were in and them breaking free has definitely triggered some sort of response from family be it extended family or immediate family the five of swords shows me that there's still some friction and hurt there but they have learned to live with it the king of swords is very fitting for your person group number two i can see here that your soulmate has this air sign energy think libra aquarius or gemini they have this older more mature energy they know what they want out of life what they're doing and where they're going and they're also unafraid to kind of tell you what they like especially sexually okay next up we've got the seven of cups as well as the six of cups that popped right out of the pile let's talk about it the seven of cups shows me that they've had many options and they still have many options so them choosing you just shows that they truly want to be with you they will never choose you just to play games they are definitely the type of person who is very deliberate about how they spend their time also because they don't have as much time as they'd like to devote to friends and family now that doesn't mean that they don't have any time at all they just wish they had more of it the six of cups shows me that while they're busy working and they also of course wish that they had more time to spend they are 100 percent mentally always with their family, always with their partners. Your soulmate is someone who is very caring and devoted to the relationship. And the Six of Cups shows me that they are generous with everything and anything that they can be generous with. And they are very deliberate about choosing to express their love as often as they possibly can. They were in many situations where love was taken away from them, was taken out of the equation so they would never want to do that to another person we already spoke about how they just want peace they just want relationships that are drama free and this showing up here within the five of swords and in connectivity to the control card makes a lot of sense here within mystery do also know that your person is very dark mysterious hard for other people to read and understand a lot of people are intimidated by your person group number two but once you get to know them, you know that on the inside, they have a very soft heart, a very soft, tender, squishy nature to them. But you would only know that if you are their special person, which other people will not know because it's just you, right? You're their person. You're their soulmate. In creativity, I also see that they're 
often underestimated when it comes to how creative they are, maybe because they are older or because other people see them as potentially being very conservative. They don't expect for them to be fun or bubbly or creative or think outside of the box, but that's what they like so much about you, the fact that you're unconventional and you show it. Furthermore, within Cleanse, they have completely rid themselves of any ties that they had to unhealthy associations and affiliations within their life they know that in order to lead their best life they had to get rid of certain people who were just holding them back and also of organizations that are only interested in making a profit that are not actually interested in helping the individuals within the organization balance shows me that they're a mentally very kind of low-key person yes air signs can be all over the place at times but group number two they are the king of swords they're the one with that daddy or mommy energy who is in control who knows that every word that they speak is meaningful and every word is powerful they don't take that for granted there's someone who is very balanced who has found how they can control what is going on mentally for them so they most likely also meditate every single day they have some sort of mindfulness practice and they are the type of person you can always come to when you need some real level-headed advice and lastly they are strong group number two they are the type of pillar that holds a foundation up that holds everything together they are the glue that holds families together that keeps things flowing the way that it should this often comes with a lot of pressure so they appreciate someone who checks in on them because they've been with many people who just have seen them as say a piggy bank or a pillar to be a shoulder to cry on and a lot of people have kind of detached their emotional needs from who they are as a human being they just see them as this means to an end but group number two that is where your soulmate connection is different and that is where the trust comes into play because they know that they can rely on you and your soulmate is someone who understands that you are not someone just trying to take advantage of them or the situation so group two this is the first part of your reading that i received for you i hope you enjoyed it and that you found this first part insightful leave a little ghost emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you made it to the end of the first part of your prediction now scroll back down into the description box click your soul number and you'll be fast forwarded to the second and even more personalized part of your soulmate reading and once again if you don't know what your soul number is or you would like further clarification on this number in your numerology chart the video where i explain to you exactly how your soul number is derived is linked in the description box so feel free to check that out as well. So group two, I'll catch you at the click of your soul numbers timestamp. Hello, group number three, and welcome to your reading. You chose the carnelian in order to help guide you when it comes to your soulmate. This is the beautiful carnelian crystal. I absolutely love this stone. It is so beautiful, full of passion, love, as well as inspiration. Let's figure out exactly who your soulmate is and what your situation will look like. We've got the citrine, which is actually a crystal that never needs to be cleansed. It is a crystal that attracts well and abundance so i wouldn't be surprised group three if you were with someone who is on the wealthy side and i can see here that the citrine in particular is bringing clarity when it comes to your soulmate so we're starting off this reading already knowing that we're going to gain a lot of insight about who your soulmate is what the situation with them is going to look like and also how you're going to end up being together if you'll end up being with one another so we've got the fourth house as well as virgo virgo is a very clear sign about your soulmate's zodiac i can see here within virgo that they're a very dutiful and humble person they are also someone who is never afraid to roll up their sleeves and put in the extra hours in order to commit to work and other tasks that simply need to be done do you know here within the fourth house that they're the type of person 
person who will keep an immaculate home. They like things very tidy, neat, and clean, so they're most likely a very organized person. They're someone who spends a lot of time cleaning as well as decorating, and I do also see here within the fourth house that it's very important for them for your home life to be just as put together as your relationship is to the outside world. So do know here with the fourth house and Virgo that this is a combination of a person who pays a lot of attention to little details. This is the type of person with whom you can start a business or plan a future with as they will ensure that every single situation that could arise uh, is covered and dealt with ahead of time. So you always have things figured out before the situation comes up. Next up, we have the Seven of Feathers. In the Seven of Feathers, they're someone who is all about that preparation. They're a very resourceful person, so I do want you to know group three, that your person has come from a humble background, so they haven't had a lavish life their entire existence. Their family life prior to meeting you or just growing up in general was most likely one where their parents had to count their pennies and make sure that they had budgeted absolutely everything, whether they went on a family trip or there were extracurricular activities that your soulmate wanted to do, everything needed a assigned budget it and they and their entire family had to be super resourceful when it comes to money and finances and they have kind of kept that characteristic to this day and this is something that they do to this day they plan ahead they budget and they make sure that they first make use of what they already have before buying new things or spending money on something else i can see here within the ace of feathers that they are also someone who loves to build strong foundations with friends, family, or anyone who they're in a relationship with. So they will spend a lot of time getting to know you. They will ask you a lot of different questions. The Ace of Feathers definitely is also a card that speaks of clarity. And we spoke about the citrine being a crystal or a symbol of clarity as well. So that showing up essentially twice so early on within your soulmate prediction does also show here that this is a very transparent person. The person who you're going to be with on a soulmate level is the type of person who will not lie to you. This is not the type of person who will stray from the relationship or marriage. They are loyal, they are dedicated, and any types of cheating and infidelity is a complete no-go for them. So that definitely also entails you cheating or talking to anyone else. They do not like that at all. Once they are committed to a relationship and a person, that's where they stay. They do not stray. <laughs> Next up, we have the High Priestess. So in the High Priestess group three, I can see that they're also a very intuitive person. And I can see here that you will be with them when you feel as though everything has has aligned in a way that it makes sense. So none of you are still going to be in relationships with other people when you meet one another and when you decide to be together. None of you are going to second guess the situation or the soulmate relationship. It's going to be crystal clear that you belong together and that's when you're going to start to see the relationship through as you intuitively both know that it's the right thing. I can also see here that this relationship that you're going to be in is one that's filled with patience as well as different perspectives that are being seen. So your soulmate is someone who does not only see things from their perspective, but they're also able to see things upside down, if you will. <laughs> they're able to see things from other people's perspectives, including your own, which is also why this is a relationship where you're not going to be arguing a lot. You're not going to have any time really for petty fights because there's no reason for it. They see your point of view and you see theirs, group number three, and that makes for a really mature, beautiful combination with two soulmates because two soulmates can sometimes also come together and form a type of competitive or stubborn bond. But I see here that your Virgo person is someone who is more mature and someone who doesn't really take themselves too seriously. 
so their ego is never attached to conversations or arguments they just want to get to a great solution in the magician i can also see here that they're a very creative person and a very strong-minded type of individual also the magician connects to the number one i want you to know here within the magician and the ace of feathers as we've had the number one here show up twice that it's important for this person to also have alone time they are the type of individual that likes to complete projects individually as well they like to show that they can be independent they do not enjoy working with too many other people and that will also reflect within their job okay your soulmate is not someone who works with a large team while they may have a lot of people working for them or under them they do not consider other people to be people who they want to work closely with unless they are very brilliant next up we've got the hermit they're a bit of a loner okay group number three your soulmate is someone who is an introvert your soulmate is someone who wants to spend time just thinking and pondering i'd say 80 percent of the time they do not like to hang out with the girls or the bros they're the type of person that likes to stay in and have dinners in a nice restaurants but they're not the type of person who wants to go out clubbing or anything like that they are definitely more of a homebody and this makes complete sense here with the fourth house and the home being the root of their being and the root of the relationship as well as your home is a safe space so while you're in this soulmate relationship when you know that there are people who maybe don't approve of the relationship or people who are not 100% supportive of you in a way that you need, don't invite them and their energy into your home. Meet them on neutral grounds because the chemistry and the energy in your home is not to be tampered with, group number three. Next up, we've got self-love. Self-love is a big one for your person, group number three. I can see that your soulmate relationship is definitely one that needs a bit more self-love on both sides, on both ends of the spectrum. But this is really great because you know that your soulmate is not a narcissist. If they can benefit from a little bit more self-love and you can benefit from more self-love as well, then you know that you are very concerned with one another. You're very caring and nurturing rather than spending all the time that you have just on yourself. So this leads to sincere relationships. Your soulmate relationship is the most sincere relationship that you will ever experience or be in group three and i also want you to know here that you will know instantly when you meet this person that they are your soulmate you will instantly know that the connection is real and that your bond is something that you can't make up it's not something that can establish over time there is already this initial knowing of one another when you meet it feels like you've known this person in for lifetimes and like you will continue to know them for all of the lives that you still have to live together so in sincere relationships know here that you have these ties with one another that are hidden that are unseen that you can only feel but can't properly describe and it simply feels like home. It simply feels like a relationship that is meant to be. And you may have already dreamt of your person in the past, group number three. So your soulmate may have appeared in a dream of yours. If you've had a dream that had to do with love or marriage or just a sincere relationship that felt like it was the one, and you just cannot wrap your head around who you dreamed of or who this person is, know that it most likely was your soulmate. And especially if you you're having reoccurring dreams and you're seeing this person over and over again as i can see here in the hanged man like the dream is different but the person is the same do know here that that is an indication of your soulmate and them coming closer and closer the more that you dream the situation into being i can see here within intention that they most likely also have the life path number 11 they are a very intentional type of human being and they are the type of person who uses every word and every bit of their body language in order to convey a message every time that you have an interaction with them they never do things mindlessly everything is always planned out meticulously and thought through 
and they're the type of person who does not like to leave things up to chance so if you're not a big planner then this can actually really serve you group three as your soulmate is someone who will take over that part of the relationship and that part of for example planning vacations trips away savings plans for example how much you want to save in a year five years ten years retirement plans they love all of that stuff they like to file taxes they like to be organized and they're definitely someone who is very structured now does that make for the most passionate and fantastic lover well it could if they have the freedom to plan things in a sense that still keeps everything fun so by planning things in a sense that keeps things fun i mean if they're able to for example buy nice outfits for you or for themselves get some toys or get some nice music and food going in order to romance you in order to make sure that you feel comfortable they like to plan things like that and that doesn't mean that they are a boring lover it just means that they really thrive in a romantic setting when they have time to set things up to surprise you next up we've got the ten of wands they're coming out of a relationship now group number three your soulmate has been in some pretty bad relationships and some pretty bad situationships that have hurt them a lot as you can see depicted here in the ten of wands and they really just want a fresh start they want to start over with another person who has the same intentions as they do and they have to start from zero with the self-love because they've been in abusive relationships where they were taken for granted or where they put in more work than the other person this ties in beautifully with the fool that popped right out of the pile of cards as you can see here the fool corresponds to the number zero it is the very first card of the major arcana in the tarot and the fool is a card that shows we are at the beginning of a new adventure and yeah that may seem really naive as we can see here with a blindfolded girl it can seem naive to think that everything will finally be different and that relationships will be healthier for, from here on out, but your soulmate is someone who believes in the good, someone who believes that they have great things ahead of them, and that optimism is actually something that usually serves them and that usually brings the right people into their life at the right time so group three this is the first part of your reading that i've received for you i hope you've enjoyed it so far but this is only the first part so do know that we still have part two coming for you but if you've made it up until this point leave a little green heart emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that you are here and that this is the group that you chose now don't forget to scroll back down into the description box or to the top of the comment section where i have pinned the timestamp of each soul number if you don't know your soul number and you want to learn how to calculate and find your soul number, I promise you it's super easy. That video is linked below. So you can watch that, find your soul number, and come and watch your soul number's soulmate prediction. So group three, thank you so much for receiving this first part of your reading, and I'll catch you at the click of your timestamp and during part two of your soulmate prediction. Hello group number four and welcome to part one of your soulmate prediction reading. You chose the tiger's eye crystal in order to help guide you. This is a raw piece of tiger's eye which we don't see very often but this is what it looks like. Usually you see the shiny tiger's eye pieces that are polished but the raw pieces are definitely a little bit more rare. This is a very grounding stone that helps you feed into your intuition and that helps you bring out your natural natural instincts but let's move into your reading to figure out exactly who your soulmate is and what that relationship will look like we've got the calcite so in the calcite i can see here that that soulmate relationship is going to go through a lot of different transitions and you're going to go through this with your soulmate the tiger's eye is definitely also a very supportive stone when it comes to togetherness and family building that unity and bond so i can see here within the calcite that you're meant to go through so many different phases and cycles of your lives together and for these transitions to actually unfold in a way that you can support one another so you and your soulmate are definitely also going to meet each other during transitional stages in your lives so that could be you just switching jobs for example and your soulmate relocating to a different place where they would like to live and kind of meeting on common ground so while you are 
you're going to a new job they have just moved to the city that you're working in you get the idea group number four and just this transitional thing actually really benefiting the relationship is what i see here in these six of cups because you are already meeting one another at a point in your life where you have to be flexible where you can't be too rigid or have any types of expectations and the relationship just starting off on that note with your soulmate makes for a bond that is indestructible because you both know no matter how tough the going gets you are able to figure it out because after all you met during a very transitional period of both of your lives and you somehow made it work you somehow just focused on being grateful for the relationship and making the best of every moment i can see here within the ten of pentacles that when it comes to life together this is harmonious you're finding a great way also to generate enough income in order to live very comfortably the ten of pentacles is definitely a symbol of fulfillment in the earthly realm so you're spending a good amount of time together you have financial means to the point where you can experience things with one another that make you happy and that you've always wanted to experience with another person and i can also see gift giving being a big thing in your relationship you like to surprise one another with presents and little earthly things which is by the way nothing to be ashamed of group number four i definitely feel like it's a very underrated type of love language next up we have the hermit as well as the temperance card so your person does have a bit of a dark past group four they have been through some things and I can see that they're trying to stay away from substances or from overdoing certain behaviors they may have been addicted to exercising for example or they may have had an eating disorder or some sort of addiction to a substance such as alcohol and I do see here within the hermit that they had to do a lot of inner internal work in order to lead a life that is healthy so they are staying away from that they don't want to relapse into unhealthy mindsets and this of course doesn't mean that you're with someone who is struggling with substance abuse per se as i was mentioning group number four this is someone who maybe had a very obsessive personality when it comes to work okay so they may have been a workaholic who did not get any sleep who did not get any rest or exercise and they hit a wall so they may have had some sort of health scare which made them retract as we can see here within the hermit and made them really have to reflect on their habits and the way that they're leading their life and they had to vow to themselves that they will never fall back into those unhealthy patterns and also not hang out with people who bring that side of them out so ensuring that they don't hang out with the wrong people who are maybe also workaholics or maybe also engaging in these unhealthy behaviors that they once had to battle with so also within your relationship there's absolutely no space for that and this is something that you will have to respect but it's maybe also something that will really serve you because group four if you're someone who likes to be really close to your partner or your soulmate it'll be great to always have them around as they are more focused on staying healthy and not falling into unhealthy thought patterns or behavioral patterns then they are focused on trying to impress other people or being a part of any type of friend squad or group i can see here within unconditional love that they are the type of person who never gives any type of conditional love any affection that they show is 100 unconditional you know that when this person shows you that they care they really do care and your soulmate is a human being who is maybe denied of unconditional love in the past hence also why they have had their own struggles and dark past and demons that they've had to battle and deal with so do know here within unconditional love that rather than letting that consume them and carrying on destructive patterns they have chosen to completely free themselves of that and i see that they are so grateful for it because they know their life could have turned out differently they know they could have had a life of say financial struggles or not being able to express love in a way that is appropriate or healthy in a relationship but i can see that they have really done the work they've taken the time to reflect to work on themselves and their own issues as we all have issues group four and they have found a way to actually become a human being with whom a relationship is healthy and enjoyable and 
brings a lot of fulfillment as a whole. Here within a negativity, I want you to understand group number four, that this is something that they absolutely cannot deal with. So they will not even put themselves in a position where negativity is an option. So whether that be, for example, watching reality TV or hanging out with people who constantly complain, they cannot do it. They will not do it. They steer clear of that because they know themselves. And that is a big thing with your person, with your soulmate group number four. They know who they are. They know what serves them and what doesn't. They know that if they hang out with this type of group of people, that's how it's going to affect them. And that if instead they focus on self-growth or their relationship that that is going to affect or benefit them in this way and they are very conscious of the choices that, that they make and they always keep in mind that every decision that they make has a consequence and they vow to make the right decisions in order for the consequences to all be positive they've gone through it in their minds so many times that's why we've got mental repetition they have learned from being in the trenches from being in dark, dingy places that, of course, it's not easy to grow and to get yourself to a place where you can really say that you know yourself and that you've come far as a human being, but it is so worth it. And if you ask them whether they would do it again, they would 100% put in the work any day. I can see here within strength that your soulmate is a super resilient person, group number four. They are not the type of person that will take no for an answer if they're trying to make something happen, especially in their career, in their professional life. If they have an idea for a business or just something innovative, they will do it. And I can see here in the 10 of pentacles that that is what makes them so successful. And that is why they have just a career that can continue to flourish because they are innovative they are ahead of the game and they're unafraid to pursue bigger ideas and the big picture i can see here within getting clear that they have gotten crystal clear about what it is that they want in their life they know exactly what they want out of a relationship with another person whether it be a romantic or a platonic relationship so they know what they want out of friendships who they want to be friends with and and they know what they would like out of romantic relationships. So your soulmate is someone who will always have that same opinion and that same idea of what their dream future looks like. So whether you ask them on day one how many kids they want to have or if they want to have any kids or if you ask them that on day 5,800, they will still have the same answer for you, group number four, as they are definitely someone who has gotten very clear on where they want to go in their future and what their dream life looks like. That doesn't mean that they are not flexible to change, but when it comes to just the core values of life, they have those values and those are values that they want to uphold. Next up, we've got the 10 of rings, which is actually an identical card to the 10 of pentacles just from a different deck so it's a different suit here we have the rings here we've got the pentacles the ten of rings here shows me that they are so satisfied with their professional life and their career and i can see that this is something that they want to share and again why they're keeping negative people out of their life completely and they've also cut ties with a lot of friends and family members who are just straight up negative nancies and who always have something to complain about as i can see here within the ace of swords that it's important for them to keep their energetic channels clear they need that mental focus in order to be creative in order to come up with new ways how they can make amazing business moves i can see here in the ace of swords that the only way how they can have breakthroughs mentally is if they can focus and if they steer clear of anyone who just constantly has something to say that isn't helpful that is simply just stating that the glass is half empty they cannot stand that and they cannot deal with that so group four your person is definitely very optimistic and energy is like a currency to them they will never spend time with someone who just drains energy in a mindless way i can see here within the four of rings that they are also a very practical person they're the type of person who likes to conserve money okay they are a saver they're the type of person who will make sure that 
for example, retirement funds are sorted, that there are savings there, that there is some sort of a plan. They are a person of stability. I mean, after all, you did choose group four and the number four is the number of stability. So it's no surprise that your person is someone who craves that, who loves stability. And I do also see here within the sun, they're all about that positivity and abundance. While other people may say, oh, well, you know, it's not realistic to just think positive thoughts and your life be amazing. They know that this is even scientifically proven that people who are optimistic and positive have longer life expectancies and usually lead lives that are more fulfilling. And your person, your soulmate, group number four, goes by that. To them, it's like, well, hell, it doesn't cost me anything to just be positive instead of negative. So I might as well implement that and I might get a few extra years out of my life i might close a few extra business deals that allow me to lead a life where i don't have to worry about money and where i can just be comfortable and spend time with my soulmate i can see in the knight of pentacles that they are the knight of the earthly realms this person most likely is an earth sign so think virgo think capricorn or taurus and i do also want you to know here in the knight of pentacles that they're still really young so your soulmate is someone who who you will meet and think to yourself oh okay this person is around my age this person is not much older than me but again young is a very subjective and relative term by young i mean they are not far off in age to you all of my beautiful souls of group four We've got the temperance card show up for you again. So the temperance card already showed up for us within this tattoo tarot deck. Now we've got it again in the pastel journey tarot. So it is completely holy to them to ensure that their energy channels stay clear and that they never fall back into toxic thought patterns or end up in a group of people or with a group of people who aren't like-minded and who are just going to an unhealthy place really next up we've got the nine of cups which is also known as the wish card this is the perfect manifestation card if you are looking to have a sign that your soulmate is everything that you wanted and more the nine of cups is like having the entire package that makes you happy and just wanting that cherry on top like for example a looks thing maybe the cherry on top for you is that your soulmate is someone who is tall or someone who is buff or someone who is physically very strong maybe the cherry on top for you is that they're very intelligent or that they are interested in topics that other people are not interested in think for example flowers think reptiles think machines whatever it is that is kind of like your niche thing that you're into cartoons it could be a certain culture or religion or country they're into it as well so you have that little cherry on top as a treat which is really amazing to have show up within your soulmate reading and last but not least for the first part of your soulmate prediction in the ace of swords we have another duplicate of this deck that we used earlier we had the ace of swords already show up within that deck now again within the pastel journey tarot the ace of swords shows me that they are an innovative person they're a very focused person and they have put together a friend group or a group of acquaintances that really works and they want to stick to that so the fact that we had a few duplicates here within the different tarot decks is very telling of who this person is and where the emphasis lies so do know here that any duplicate cards definitely mean that that is an area of your soulmate relationship that is more pronounced that is receiving that extra confirmation so we had the ten of rings or ten of pentacles however you'd like to call it which speaks of that earthly stability and not having to worry about money we have the ace of swords which is all about that mental focus innovation and breakthroughs and we also had the temperance card which shows that they are committed to keeping their energetic field and circumstances very clear and clean so this is what your relationship looks like 
like from part one of your reading. However, group four, we are not at the end of your soulmate prediction. As you know, my videos are super personalized. So scroll back down into the description box or the top of the comment section where you can click the timestamp of your soul number in order to receive the second part that is even more detailed of your soulmate prediction. If you don't know your soul number, remember I have a video where I cover exactly how you can find your soul number. So watch that video. It's also linked in the description box if you don't know your soul number. And once you've found your soul number, you can receive the second and even more personalized part of your soulmate prediction. I hope you enjoyed this and found it insightful. Leave a little unicorn emoji below if you did, and I'll catch you during part two of your prediction. Hello, group number five, and welcome to your soulmate prediction part one. You chose the Labradorite crystal point. This is the beautiful crystal that you decided to choose. I absolutely love Labradorite crystals because in the natural sunlight, you can see them glisten in these beautiful hues of blue, as you can see here in this little corner, but it just really pops a lot more when you've got natural lighting. I have studio lighting right now. Unfortunately, I cannot show you, but trust me the labradorite is an absolutely gorgeous crystal i even have i think some reels on my instagram where you can see how it glistens in the sunlight so let's move into your soulmate prediction we've got the rose quartz here so in the rose quartz i can see that your soulmate is someone who is super compassionate they are an empath and they are very caring and nurturing so that's what we have right off the bat in connectivity to the labradorite i also see that they're a very multifaceted person group number Number five and they will constantly surprise you with new things that you didn't know about them I can see here within the aquamarine that their intuition is also really on point so no matter what the situation is your soulmate is someone who can figure out how to make the best of it so whether you need help because you're going through a difficult time at work or in your studies or whether you're on an adventure and someone hurts themselves like your soulmate is the type of person who knows exactly what to do in emergency situations whether they be emotional emergencies or physical emergencies and they are not afraid to even risk their own safety and well-being in order to save another person so you have a soulmate who is very selfless you have a soulmate who definitely wants to give the relationship their all and i can see that they love to spend time with other people as well so your soulmate to someone who loves to party and have a good time with a crowd in which they feel comfortable. The three of pentacles shows me here that collaborating with others is just their default mode. So they may have also come from a large family, which makes it easy for them to talk to anyone because they've had so much practice their whole entire life. I can see here within the page of pentacles that they are also starting out some new things in the earthly realm. So there may be the first one in their family who's gone to university or who has gone to a certain academic level and this is definitely something that their family is really proud of and that their community is very proud of and it is well deserved everyone loves that your soulmate has gotten to this point in their life and everyone is cheering them on so when you're with your soulmate you're also with their family you're also with their community because they're not a lone wolf they're definitely someone who spends a lot of time with other people as well but these are good people people. I can see here within the nine of cups that they have so many people that would drop everything in order to help them because your soulmate has done the same for those people. As we mentioned right off the bat with your reading group number five, your soulmate is naturally an empath. They are a very caring person. They're the type of person who will give up their last shirt if they need to in order to help a stranger even and I can also see here within the chariot that this has propelled them forward in life more times than they're even aware of because people can feel that they have a good heart people can feel that your soulmate is someone who wants the best for an entire group an establishment they do not have a selfish bone in their body and they're always looking out for everyone else 
but sometimes they can of course also do that a little too much to the point that they feel tired and depleted. I see here within the three of wands that it's essential for you to teach your soulmate how to also put themselves first and their own wishes, dreams, and aspirations first, as I can see that you will be with this person for quite a long time. So you'll meet your soulmate earlier in life at a point where you're both still learning about who you are but i think we're all always learning more about ourselves and getting to know ourselves on a deeper more personal level but you understand what i mean group number five i see here within the ten of pentacles that you will have a life that is shall i say luxurious shall i say wealthy successful i mean <laughs> you get the adjectives group five you will have a life where you don't really have to worry that much about financial stability safety or freedom the ten of pentacles is a symbol of fulfillment in the earthly realms and also a symbol of good health so you have the opportunity to be with your soulmate for a very long time whereas other people may meet their soulmate but may not have as much time with them as one of them may suffer some health issues and not be around for as long as the other one. I see here within the Knight of Crystals that your soulmate is someone who is super determined and they have a lot of endurance within them to follow through on their goals and their aspirations. They don't really like to take shortcuts at all. For them, it's actually almost better or more fulfilling when something is a bit more difficult to handle and deal with we've got the temperance card the six of shells the page of crystals and the shaman that has showed up for you i want to make you aware of the fact that we've had a lot of earth element and earth sign energy in your reading so far group five we've had the page of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the three of pentacles up here in this tattoo tarot deck and here in the spirit song tarot deck we have had the knight of crystals and the page of crystals which both point to the fact that your soulmate most likely has very strong earth sign placement within their chart. So think a lot of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus placements within their birth chart, either in their sun, their moon, their rising sign, their big three, but they may of course also have more of those earth sign placements just scattered throughout their entire birth chart. This makes for someone who is very balanced. I see that here within the temperance card. They're not someone who loses their temper or their cool very quickly. They are someone who just wants to lead a harmonious life and mind their own business. They do not like drama. I see here within the six of shells that they're also a very sentimental person. So they probably have a lot of earthly belongings to you. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Group number five, if you move in with this person, be aware of the fact that they will either bring a lot of stuff with them or they will collect a lot of things during the time in which you're together. The Knight of Crystals and the Page of Crystals shows me here that biologically speaking, they have a tendency to be around your age or younger, as I do see here in the Page of Crystals that they have a very bubbly, fun, and kind of lively young energy about them, whereas the Knight of Crystals shows me that they have seen things and they have had a lot of experiences, but Compared to you, they seem to be a little bit on the younger side, if not the same age as you. I can see within the shaman that they are mentally an old soul. They have this di divine wisdom about them that speaks of a lot of spiritual power as well. So they're the type of person that has had supernatural experiences. Maybe they grew up in a home where they lived with spirits or a ghost or just overall they communicate with spirit, past loved ones and angels. And that is another area in which you connect with them, another area in which you truly feel like, wow, this is my person and this is someone who I can rely on and this is someone who gets what I'm talking about when I speak of things that other people may deem as crazy or over the top. The Eight of Cups shows me here that they have abandoned quite a few relationships in their life or they've been abandoned a lot, group number five. So your person may have some trust issues and some anxiety around tying the knot 
getting married or just committing in a relationship so your soulmate relationship may start as like an on and off type of thing until they really feel like they can open up to you the princess of swords shows me that they can benefit from learning more about how to communicate they're not the best with their words let's put it that way they can be a little clumsy and you can also tell that they're nervous when they're stumbling over their words, when they're repeating themselves often and they're finding it very hard to explain to you what they're going through or how they feel. They're a little transparent when it comes to that because they're still learning how to properly express themselves. The Seven of Wands, however, shows me that they have made it through difficult times because of their determination. We spoke about that here in the Knight of Crystals, how there's someone with a lot of stamina and endurance and determination and here connecting that to the eight of cups and their abandonment issues shows me that they have been backstabbed by people who have been really close to them and they have been taken for granted people have quote-unquote screwed them over and they have been able to rise like a phoenix from the ashes and come back bigger stronger and better the ace of swords shows me that they are a real threat to some people especially in the workspace as they always come up with new innovative ideas that other people wouldn't think of so they are copied on many occasions the four of cups shows me that this is definitely something that they struggle to deal with being copied, having people constantly look over their shoulders and try to see what's coming next and what they're doing. Your soulmate, group five, they need space and they want to be in a relationship with someone like yourself who is able to give them a healthy amount of space. The star shows me that they're super hopeful about the relationship with you working out and they're the type of person who is very optimistic, even though they're afraid, even though they have these abandonment issues and and they have a bit of control issues well issues around giving up control and simply allowing themselves to love they are still very optimistic they are still someone who is prematurely on the positive side who doesn't have like a fatalistic worldview whatsoever next up we've got consciousness so i do want you to know here that they are a very broad-minded human being and consciousness is something that intrigues them so they may have read a lot of different books such as becoming metahuman i think that's one of like the famous books about consciousness such as metahuman or becoming supernatural i can see here that they're someone who's very intrigued by the mind and how the mind works and overall they're also a very intelligent type of person they are not afraid to relinquish control when it comes to tradition or conservative thinking because historically speaking a lot of different theories have been proven to be inaccurate or wrong or just not a hundred percent right if you will group number five so they definitely respect science and scientific findings but at the same time they have a very expansive way of thinking and they feel as though the human race is continuing to grow that humans are always unlocking and discovering new parts of the world and the universe which are intertwined or which we maybe haven't quite understood and they want to be a part of the people who have this expansive mindset who think beyond current limitations and obstacles and beyond maybe what barriers that science has put up and i do also want you to understand here in the four of cups as well as the frustration card so we have the four of cups over here that when they get frustrated they definitely get even more enthused by the idea of finding a way to prove people wrong or finding a way to prove that what they're frustrated about does make sense and that it is worth investigating. I can see here within magic that they're also intrigued by magic group five. They may actually be interested in practicing some magic themselves, whether it be spiritual, whether it be just some magic tricks. They are intrigued by everything that is mysterious, everything that is magical and inexplicable. They have a bit of a dark, mysterious aura to them. Them, and they're definitely someone who seems secretive, who seems hard to get to know. 
until you know them and then you truly understand your soulmate's inner workings. So group five, this is the first part of your reading that I've received for you. Make sure you leave a fox emoji down below in the comment section to let me and others know that this is the group that you chose. Now scroll down where you can click the second part of your prediction, the second timestamp, which is your soul number. Once again, if you are unaware of what your soul number is, check out my video where I explain to you how you can discover your soul number. I have that linked in the description box as well. So you can find your soul number and then receive the second, even more detailed part of your soulmate prediction. Thank you so much for being here at group number five, and I'll catch you at the click of your second timestamp. Hello, soul number one, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your soulmate prediction. So I'm going to get into it. Lean back, relax, and enjoy part two of your reading. We've got the Page of Wands, we've got the Star, as well as the Emperor. I will also be adding some letters for you. Okay, so for your soulmate, we've got the letter S and E for their initials and significant letters within their name. We're adding charms. Oh, okay, so we have this little Alice in Wonderland rabbit. I keep thinking colibri in German, but it's actually a hummingbird. We've got a key as well as a mermaid. So immediately within these charms, one thing that I can see here is that your soulmate relationship is going to actually unlock freedom that you haven't experienced in relationships before. And I can definitely also see here within the mermaid, we've got some new depths. You're going to be traveling a lot with your person and I also do want you to know here that they are a type of person who likes to lead so they like to plan they like to ensure that they play an active role in where you're going what you're doing and all of the big decisions in the relationship so they're a very hands-on type of partner I also see that here within the Emperor do you know here within the star that right from the start of the relationship they have really high hopes for things going smooth Smoothly. They have really high hopes of this relationship lasting for an eternity. And the Page of Wands shows me that they will express how passionate that they are by showing you that they care and by always bringing their best attitude to everything that you do. So your soulmate situation is definitely one that will serve you. All of my soul number ones, we've got anger, balance, strength so here for these first three cards i want you to understand that your soulmate relationship is definitely one where you will find balance even in situations where you would usually get very angry and you will understand here that real strength comes from being able to not blow up in those situations and circumstances and instead both find a way to find common ground. I do see within illumination that you're going to learn so much from your soulmate as they are someone who is very smart. And the ghost also shows me here that they can be a little bit superstitious. So there are certain numbers and symbols that are important to them and that they look out for. And in anxiety, I want you to know here, that that can sometimes make them a little nervous, especially when they've had a bad experience, say with a certain number or a certain time of the year, be a little gentle around that time of the year and keep in mind here that they are definitely someone who deals with a little bit of anxiety that surrounds some of their superstitions. So all of my soul number ones, this is the second part of your prediction. I hope that you enjoyed receiving these extra details, these added little details to your reading. Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, soul number two, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your soulmate prediction. I'm going to get straight into it, lean back and relax. Enjoy part two. We've got remain positive, wait, as well as there's something better. So you may have felt like maybe a soulmate had already entered your life, soul number two, but that is not the case. Your soulmate is still coming. You're being called to wait and remain positive. Keep a positive attitude as that will help 
help to attract your soulmate into your life. We've got the letters V as well as N for their initials. And also you're being confronted with the fact that there are better things out there for you than what you've experienced so far in love, soul number two. So you have settled in the past, okay? There is someone out there for you who can give you or provide you with a lot more of what you need, emotionally speaking, than you've ever received in the past. So do know here within this bull symbol that you're being called to kind of stay in a sense stubborn about your self-worth and about what it is that you're willing to put up with and to not settle. And I can see here in this tree pose that stability is something that you don't need from another person. You're already very stable as you are. So it's important for you to remind yourself here to not settle for anything less than what makes you happy. Know that that also gives you a lot of power and freedom. I see that here in the feather and the bird. It's almost like a double symbol of freedom and the universe pointing out just how important these symbols are to you all of my soul number twos and to keep in mind here that the less you have this type of expectation of someone changing and the more you simply focus on being with people who provide you with what you need right from the start not being with projects or with people who have potential and hoping that they change but constantly being disappointed that gives you freedom that gives you the power to know that you're fine stepping away or walking away from a relationship when you know that you deserve better. Because when you're constantly staying with people and reaffirming that you don't value or respect your boundaries and time because they're simply not providing you maybe with the emotional stability or the loyalty that you desire and deserve, then that shows that you don't think that you deserve it. And of course, it will be hard to find a soulmate relationship if you allow for those situations to even exist within your life. I can see here within the moth that your soulmate relationship is one that is definitely drawn towards light, drawn towards a very healthy mindset from both of you. So your soulmate relationship is one where you're both breaking generational curses. So you're from similar backgrounds when it comes to tradition or conservative family members and dealing with also different types of um, cultural backgrounds and cultural transitions. The black egg shows me that you've always been a little different. Both you and your soulmate have always been the black sheep of the situation or the family. You've always been a little different than all of the other people who you're surrounded by and the scorpion does also show me here that scorpio energy is strong within them they are a strong-willed type of person all of my soul number twos and they aren't afraid to say what it is that they need and to also confront other people they're not like going out trying to start arguments or anything like that they are definitely the type of person who will defend themselves if they need to and also speak up when they're being treated in a manner that is just not okay so they are a very vocal person i can see here within the camel and the vulture they're planning for the future they're planning for longevity you're gonna meet your soulmate and it's going to be a relationship that lasts for a very long time some people's soulmate relationships don't last for a lifetime they don't last even maybe for years or months soulmate relationships can be fleeting but i see that yours is actually built to last for a while as we've got the camel which is all about storing resources using resources when necessary not just using everything up front this is about delayed gratification not just instant gratification and instant happiness and putting that above everything right i can definitely see here that loyalty and thinking ahead is more important than pleasure in a very moment or instance the vulture also shows me here that again being resourceful is important no matter how much you and your soulmate amass in the earthly realms, no matter how wealthy you are, how well you're doing professionally, 
or in your career you're always going to be the same humble people that you were when you met so while everything on the outside may change your core values will remain the same and that's something that you bond over so all of my beautiful soul number twos this is the additional second part to your prediction i hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful leave a scorpion emoji in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here thank you for receiving this highly personalized and accurate prediction and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming videos hello all my beautiful soul number threes and welcome to the second part of your soulmate prediction where we base your reading off of your soul number so let's get straight into it lean back relax and enjoy the second part of your personal reading we've got your ready opportunity as well as not the right time so i can see here for you soul number three that you're definitely ready for your soulmate you're ready for that opportunity to come into your life however right now it's not quite the right time yet let's see exactly why using some charms that can indicate what is going on within your life that is stopping you from meeting your soulmate or keeping you apart for the next little bit. And let's also find out for how long. So we've got a beautiful elephant. We've got a lotus flower as well as a diamond. So I can see here with the lotus and the diamond that there's definitely a part of you that still needs to learn a little bit more about self-love as well as respecting your boundaries and reinforcing those with romantic partners as well not allowing for anyone to make you lower your standards. I can also see here within the elephant that you're someone who is very wise and mature. You're a family-oriented person, and it's definitely also essential for you to take your time to really settle in with the right person, to not rush anything. Even if you're ready and an opportunity presents itself, it is important that your soulmate is ready as well. It is important that the person with whom you're considering to get into a romantic connection is in a place where they know that they can commit and is in a mature state of mind. Let's see what their initials would be, all my beautiful soul number threes, and I hope you can appreciate my transparency just because it is essential for me to be honest with you in these readings, not just say what everyone wants to hear. We've got the letters D as well as A, so see these as their initials, as some important letters within their name we also have the letter O so I will put these right here for you to have a look at during your reading however we have a few more details that we get to uncover about your soulmate in particular all of my soul number threes there is just so much soul terminology in this video I love it next up we've got the swan so in the swan I can see that your soulmate sees you as someone elegant someone beautiful and someone who is is worthy of fighting for so if you don't feel as though your soulmate is making you feel all of these things and all of these ways then you're not with the right person all of my soul number threes okay your soulmate will be that person who makes you feel like the most beautiful precious thing on earth and if you don't feel that way you're not with the right person in the oyster I can see that your hard exterior can be cracked open and there's definitely much to be revealed however it may take a significant amount of strength and time for your soulmate to do that so the oyster also implies that you need to give enough time in a soulmate relationship for you to feel comfortable and also communicate to potential soulmates or lovers that it is in fact important for you to be given that time and to not rush into anything the eagle shows me that you're very goal oriented so despite some people not being able to read you and finding you slightly intimidating here within the eagle all that you really need is a little bit of time and a little bit of trust in the right person and you will be able to slowly but surely open up and when you do you're fully cracked open not halfway but fully and you're kind of exposing your very gentle and very kind caring empathetic self so for your soulmate reading i want you to know here within the gazelle that you are someone 
who is easily hurt when it comes to the soulmate relationship. So that's maybe also why you're protecting yourself with a bit of a thicker skin or outer layer. But once that's cracked open, you're definitely exposing a part of you that still needs gentleness. And it is essential for you to work on building resilience and not feeling as though you need so much time in order for trust to build with another person before you can really just allow them to get to know you because there are definitely some people who may not necessarily be turned off but i can see here that your soulmate may end up wondering whether you're even interested in them if it's taking you so long to open up and to allow for your walls to come down in the sun i can see here that your soulmate relationship is filled with radiance positivity and abundance and i want you to know that this soulmate relationship is really one in a million and when the opportunity comes you will know that it's the right opportunity because your soulmate will be ready anyone who's telling you that it's not the right time or they're not sure they are not the one for you you're ready there are opportunities but it's up to you to pick the right ones soul number three because not everyone is the right person to be with you next up we've got the eight of cups in the eight of cups be open to walking away. That's what the Eight of Cups stands for in the tarot. Walking away and also kind of cutting your losses, not feeling as though you're emotionally still connected to a situation that doesn't serve you. If you find that you're in a connection where you're not being honored or treated as we spoke about in the swan where someone is stringing you along ghosting you telling you that they're not ready or they don't want to talk about the future because they don't want to kind of make any assumptions or set anything in stone walk away all of my beautiful soul number threes because your true soulmate is going to immediately want to start to get to know you and want to start to solidify the connection so group three or shall i say soul number three i hope that you enjoyed this reading and that you found it insightful and that you like this highly interactive pick a card reading style for yourself and that it brought you value thank you for being here and for spending this divine time with me and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions Hello, soul number four, and welcome to the second and even more personalized part of your soulmate prediction. So we're going to get straight into it. All you need to do is lean back, relax, and enjoy the second highly personalized portion of your reading. So we've got the owl, we've got the hummingbird, as well as the dolphin. So soul number four, I want you to know here that your soulmate relationship is meant to be very carefree and happy-go-lucky. That's what I see in the dolphin as well as the hummingbird. If you're with someone and the energy feels heavy and lethargic, they are not your soulmate, they are not the one for you. I also see here within the owl that your soulmate is someone who pays close attention to detail. The hummingbird and the owl are very quick birds and animals in general, and the dolphin definitely also falls into the category of being quick, witty, as well as fun. So that is what I see here for your soulmate. They're the type of person who has more of a sleek and slender appearance, and they also can blend in with the crowd if needed. So your soulmate is not necessarily dressed in a super eccentric way they can seem like they're more traditional on the surface i see here within trust for all my soul number fours that that is what your relationship is built on it's a pretty standard thing for relationships especially soulmate relationships to be built on trust but the universe just wants to make sure that you get this message and that you know how important that this is if you feel as though trust has been broken in a relationship don't be afraid to ask for help from others be it going to therapy counseling or asking someone close to you about what you can do furthermore if trust cannot be regained or rebuilt you are not with your soulmate all of my soul number fours i can see here that you're ready you're ready for your soulmate relationship you're ready to be in a committed space with another human being and it's very important for you to be able to trust that you're with someone 
someone who is just as ready as you are. So make sure that you also pay close attention to body language. You pay close attention to early signs during communication as to whether this person is serious about you or not. I can see here within helpful people that a good way for you to figure out whether you are actually talking to your soulmate while dating is to again bring other people into the mix people who you really trust who really have your best interests at heart and ask them for a second opinion you don't have to just blindly go with whatever they say but if for example your best friend or your parent your sibling feels as though you're not being treated like the gem that you are they're most likely just looking out for you because they'd have nothing to gain from ruining a soulmate relationship of yours. So next up, we have these letters. We have the letter T as well as O. Let's see what else we can get. We've got the letter R as well. So these are the three letters that are important within their name. Think of these as initials or just overall important parts of who they are when it comes to what their legal name is we've got the shell we've got this beautiful tree that almost looks a bit like a tree of life as well as the feather so i do want you to know here within the feather and this shell that it's important for you to learn to open up just as though there may be a pearl within here the exterior is hard and it can be very difficult to break that open in order to get to the goods right to get to the pearl which Let's say the pearl is the beautiful inside of who you are, you at your core, all of my soul number fours. So do know here that the feather, feather is trying to communicate to open up a little more easily and to allow for other people to get to know the real you. I see here within this beautiful tree that as a soul number four, you are definitely someone who craves and loves stability. You thrive with stability in your life and that is something that you build on. And I want you to communicate that to any potential soulmate right from the start as your soulmate is someone who will stick around even when you tell them that you want real commitment because as a soul number four, that is just one of the basic needs Needs that you need fulfilled and once they give you the green light fly towards it group number four there is no danger there for you open up and simply enjoy your soulmate relationship as the right person for you is the perfect match they are very fun light-hearted they don't take things too seriously they make a lot of jokes and overall they have a low level of anxiety and they are the perfect mirror or match to you and and the perfect person to bring you out of your shell to a place where you feel more free, where you can be rooted yet still be able to grow. So all of my soul number fours, this is the second part to your soulmate reading that I've received for you. I hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful. Let me know down below. It is my lifelong goal to make my pick a card reading videos the most interactive ones on the internet that are as personalizable as possible because I feel everyone should be able to have free access to readings that can help them calm them and allow for them to feel secure about their life and their relationships so if you're all about that don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions Hello, soul number five, and welcome to your soul number's soulmate reading. <laughs> there are so many soul adjacent things within this reading. Let's get into it. I'm so excited to be able to give you this highly personalized second part to your prediction in order for you to know that everything is really tailored to your needs and your numerology chart. So we've got the dragonfly, we've got the butterfly, as well as the panther. So it starts off with two pretty dainty animals right we've got the dragon fly and the butterfly as well we've got the word fly in both of them and this notion of lightness right in the butterfly we also have this transformation but then we've got the panther which brings a really nice edge to the entire situation and also this passion also this assertion so i can see here in the butterfly that you're definitely going into a stage where you're 
you're transforming and moving into this version of yourself that isn't afraid to be assertive, direct, and go for what they want. And you are definitely bonding with a soulmate or your soulmate is meant to be someone who is very forward thinking, who is not conservative when it comes to gender roles or for example, what they think a relationship should look like. And I can see that that is the only way that the relationship with you can really thrive and work out as a dragonfly does definitely also show here that you're all about doing what feels right, not what you're quote unquote supposed to do. And you need someone who's on the same level and who vibes in the same way all of my beautiful soul number fives here i can see in the near future that you're meant to meet your soulmate pretty soon you're meant to be with them sooner than you expected and i can see that it's also kind of up to you whether you're able to meet them or not you go through your transformation at your own pace the butterfly starts in a little larva and pupa stage as a caterpillar i want you to know here that you go through all of those stages at your own pace and it's up to you to decide really whether you're ready to date or not but either way remain positive that is the main message from your guides and your angels all of my soul number fives and also don't question yourself to the point that you allow for insecurities to prevail or take over you don't need that in your life the aquamarine shows me here that your soulmate is someone who is very intuitive and can read you without you needing to say anything to them. So you can be in a room with one another, not say a word for hours or even days, and you'd be just fine because you know exactly what your soulmate, soulmate thinks or needs or feels. Next up, we've got the peach selenite. The peach selenite shows me here that this insight comes from a place of being connected to source of also knowing themselves really well. Your soulmate is someone who has taken the time to get to know what their own needs are and has taken the time to really learn your body language. And this is a relationship that is built on equal grounds as well. So let's add a few letters to figure out exactly what your soulmate's name may be. We've got the letter B, U, as well as E. E. So these are all letters within your soulmate's name. I'll lay them right here for you, all of my beautiful soul number fives, so you can get a better understanding and idea of who your soulmate is. Let's also add some charms into your reading. Oh, this is my charm bag, by the way. It is a bow life bag from my company. As you know, um, all orders come with these velvet bags that are reusable, and that's exactly what I like to do. We've got the flamingo. They're a bit of a silly person, I can see that. We've got the bicycle, and what else do we have? we have this beautiful tree. So spending time in nature, doing something like watching, bird watching, animal watching, going on a safari, I can see that here, that this is something, an experience you're going to have with your soulmate. I also see that they are someone who isn't afraid to ride through the nature on, say, a bike to just explore the nature. Just someone who loves to watch nature and all its beautiful inhabitants in general. And here we have another bird. So we're very strong on the element of air here in the second part of your reading. So I do want you to understand that while we're very strongly rooted in the element of air, communication is what is most important in your soulmate relationship. While you don't need to communicate, as I explained to you with the example of being with each other and not feeling like you have to say anything to get one another, it is definitely best for you to talk a little more than you would think is necessary. Communicate a bit more with your soulmate. That will really help the relationship thrive and have a longevity. So all all of my beautiful soul number fives, thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time with me in the second portion of your prediction. Leave a butterfly emoji in the description box to let me and others know that you are a soul number five. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, soul number six, and welcome to your soul numbers personal portion of your soulmate prediction. 
My goal is to create readings here on YouTube that are as personalized as possible and using numbers out of your numerology chart, oh, that is a great way for you to get deeper, more personalized insight. We've got a year from now, We've got reconsider as well as helpful people. So I can see here that you are meant to meet your soulmate or be in a fully stable relationship with your soulmate a year from now at the latest, all of my beautiful soul number sixes. And it's important for you to take time to reconsider other relationships by using helpful people to give you insight and to give you feedback. So if you feel like you've been pushed around by people who are clearly not your soulmate, reconsider those relationships and get rid of them. As I do see that a year from now, you are meant to be in a soulmate relationship, but of course you will have to make space for that person to be able to come in and to ensure that your loyalty doesn't lie with someone who isn't in fact even your soulmate all of my beautiful soul number sixes so use helpful people such as parents siblings best friends who have had your back in the past in order to assess the situation to give you feedback on whether they believe that you're with the right person or not and i can also see here that it's important for you to ask yourself would this really be loving yourself? Staying with someone who, for example, ghosts you, fails to tell you the truth, fails to tell you what they're up to, fails to give the relationship any type of significance or define the relationship. Is that really self-love if those are all things that you don't like or you don't think are healthy? No, that would of course not be self-love. Self-love to you in a relationship may look like being with someone who is a healthy match, being with someone who keeps you in the loop about what they're up to, someone who is considerate, empathetic, and compassionate. It's very important for you to reconsider anything that isn't rooted in self-love when it comes to your soulmate, because your soulmate relationship isn't meant to be a whirlwind one. It isn't meant to hurt or be anything that ends up making you feel like a moth that goes into the light and gets burned. But I do see here within the moth that you have already learned some hard lessons with other people in your lives, all of my soul number sixes. And it's time for you to reconsider whether you have any more lessons that need to be learned. I can see here within the tarantula that everything is going to move very quickly with your true soulmate connection. And the buffalo shows me that that connection is a very hearty one, okay? It's one that cannot be broken apart by any circumstances really. So if you have any baggage that you feel you're carrying around, that could be previous relationships, it could be a divorce, it could be, you know, as hard as it is to say it like that, it could be children or for example, an unfinished education that you still need to do. It could be debt, it could be the fact that you're maybe not very comfortable in your body or you suffer from depression. I mean, what we feel is baggage can come in so many different shapes, sizes, and forms. Know here in the buffalo that your soulmate relationship is not going to crumble under any of that. I see here within the unicorn that it is meant to thrive even under the most difficult of circumstances because it is a relationship that is considered magical just like a unicorn and that is considered out of the ordinary, eccentric in the best way. The lizard also does show me here with Within your soulmate prediction that the person who you will be with is someone who adapts to your pace and adapts to what you put into the relationship so when you show that you're in a good mood they are in a good mood when you're going through a tough time they feel it as well and they kind of adapt to that the lizard is a cold-blooded creature, so it cannot regulate its own temperature. You are the warm-blooded creature in the relationship, all of my beautiful soul number sixes. So use that type of um, power, if you will, or influence that you have in the relationship to the advantage of everyone in the relationship. We also have a few letters of your person's name that we want to add here. We've got H-O as well as H which um, funny enough amounts to hoe here. <laughs> um, don't take that too personally. All of my beautiful soul and number sixes, this is just basically letters that are within their name. And obviously the letter H seems to be a very important one. So let's move a little 
further into the reading by adding some charms. We've got the rhino, another symbol for hardiness. We've got this little, um, I'd say it's like the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. If you know, you know, and the feather. So I do want you to know here that on one hand, the relationship is made of steel. It's made of a very hardy material as we spoke about within the buffalo and you can get through any challenges but it's also important that you still bring softness and tenderness to the relationship don't always be strong don't always be powerful also sometimes show that you need a hug or you need a timeout as well and last but not least in this rabbit i can see here that on a romantic level you're definitely going to have a lasting honeymoon phase in your soulmate relationship and you're going to find that overall just the physicality of the relationship works really beautifully and there is this nice mix between doing things in a bit more of a raunchy way and also having very gentle, tender moments with one another. So all of my beautiful soul and number sixes, I hope that you enjoyed your reading and of course that you enjoy and appreciate how personalized all of the readings on my channel can be. Thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello, soul number seven, and welcome to your soul numbers portion of your soulmate prediction. I just love how many soul references are within this video. Let's get into it so we can figure out exactly what your soulmate reading looks like. We've got the peacock as well as the cobra, all of my beautiful soul number sevens. And we've got within the next few weeks and meditation brings answers. So I do want you to know here that within the next few weeks, you will find that you feel a lot more like you've gone through this glow up, this transformation where you feel your true inner and outer beauty shining and radiating. And I see here within the Cobra that you're actually coming off as a little intimidating to some people. And I see here that within the next few weeks, you also have the opportunity to meet your soulmate or to attract them into your life and don't worry all of my beautiful soul number sevens if you don't end up attracting them into your life this time around there are still plenty of opportunities in the meditation brings answers card i want you to also understand how important meditation is how important quieting the mind is as this will lead you to make the right decisions that will lead you to your soulmate if you're stressed out if your mind is all over the place you will not make those decisions that will lead to you meeting and being with your soulmate as you will be all over the place and most likely also making a lot of decisions based on fear and anxiety the deer shows me that what you really need need is a gentle approach what you really need is time to be taken care of and by be taken care of i mean you taking care of yourself whether that's you taking you to the spa you taking you on a date you cooking you a beautiful meal all of my soul number sevens it is definitely important for you to take that alone time to take that me time the crocodile shows me here that you are definitely also laying a bit more low than you need to you are so beautiful and so intelligent one of a kind Allow for yourself to shine and come out of the murky waters a little bit more. Don't feel like you have to be hiding. I see here that within the next few weeks, you will definitely come out of your shell a little bit more, but the universe is trying to encourage you to do that tenfold, okay? Give yourself more credit. Here within rest, I can see that your soulmate relationship is definitely meant to be a place where you can retreat and where you can feel like you're actually recharging. Your soulmate relationship is meant to be a safe space, a safe haven, where you always know you can go to if you need a little bit of a, a time out. I can see within surrender that you've also been holding yourself back more than necessary when it comes to truly flaunting who you are, whether that be wearing very eccentric outfits that you've always wanted to wear, doing different looks that you've been too afraid to express. Know here that it's time for you to just surrender to who you truly are, no matter how people may look at you on the street or in the grocery 
store be you all of my beautiful soul number seven so let's look at some letters within your soul numbers name we've got d as well as a and the letter n so this of course amounts to the name dan or nad but i do want you to definitely take all of these letters into consideration when it comes to their name and when it comes to their initials as the universe wants you to know exactly who you're dealing with while you're dating for example so these are some indicators about whether you have your soulmate before you or not. Let's do a few charms as well out of my charm bag. So we've got the key, we've got the leaf as well as the sea star. So I do see here within the key and the sea star that you are going to unlock a lot of possibilities and opportunities while you're with your soulmate especially when it comes to your career and all of the things that you're passionate about. I see here within the leaf that there's someone who is very supportive, but also someone who wants you to be strong on your own. They don't like when you're feeling like you're dependent on them. They don't like to be a rock that ends up just being like your safe island that you always come back to when you're in trouble. Your soulmate definitely wants you to be able to thrive on your own and to not have to rely on them for anything so they want you to be independent and they're pushing you towards that independence even if that makes you feel uncomfortable and at the time it may feel like they're backstabbing you or sabotaging you they actually just want the best for you so you will find that your soulmate pushes you to try things like start new business ventures take risks in your career or start new hobbies that you were maybe too afraid to get into they will also encourage you to get back into old hobbies and patterns that can serve you so all of my beautiful soul number sevens this is the second part of your prediction that i received for you i hope you enjoyed this highly personalized addition to your soulmate reading let me know down below by leaving a little cobra or snake emoji in the comment section and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions Hello all my beautiful soul number eights and welcome to the second and even more highly personalized part of your soulmate reading. Let's get straight into it. I hope that you're looking forward to the second super personalized addition to your reading so we can get even more details for you. We've got recovery, get more information as well as if you believe. So all of my beautiful soul number eights, I can see that now is a time for a recovery for you and the same thing should actually be the case when you are with your soulmate you should not feel anxious or like your nerves are all over the place your soulmate is meant to be a charge pad for you they're meant to be a place you can come back to to recover they're not supposed to add stress to your life i see here and get more information that whenever you feel as though someone may be the one ask for that extra bit of information as a soul number eight you can sometimes tend to see the glass as half full very quickly and kind of see past some red flags that maybe other soul numbers would consider more because you're definitely someone who believes in the good of other people and in the good of humanity and just human beings in general so in if you believe it is so essential for you to also keep in mind that when you like someone you give them a lot more wiggle room you give them the benefit of the doubt and that is the beautiful thing about having a soul number eight like yourself in one's life but unfortunately some people may try to take advantage of that so it's important for you to look out for any red flags to consider them and take them very seriously i can see here within the lizard that making sure that you are not kind of matching your energy to other people's energy is important that you stay on your constant vibration if you will the lizard is a cold-blooded animal it cannot self-regulate its bodily temperatures which is why it needs to lie out in the sun in order to warm itself and when it gets too cold the lizard can't move so it is influenced influenced by external sources forces and weather and under some circumstances this can be helpful like if you're in a business meeting of course it is sometimes best to just lie low and go with the flow but i can see here that when it comes to your soulmate 
you need to keep in mind that it is essential for you to be who you are to be bold and to not just go with whatever seems like the right thing to do a lot of us make ourselves smaller or make ourselves seem more timid so we can be more attractive and dainty and fragile to another person but i do want you to know here within the lizard that that's not something you should be doing in a soulmate relationship especially when you're just meeting someone the wolf shows me here that going with what instinctually feels right is the perfect path for you so if you instinctually feel when you're seeing someone like you just want to express some more emotions do so and if they get scared then they weren't the one for you to begin with all of my beautiful soul number eights but i do also want you to know here within the wolf that your soulmate is someone who doesn't have many people in their life period and they are definitely someone who goes through a lot of difficult trials and tribulations alone but when they are in a relationship they're in it forever just as with wolves and their pack so to say it is a male and a female that raises their youngs and i believe they stay together forever or at least some wolves do that in the hyena i want you to also understand that there will be some people who will try to be part of your soulmate relationship that don't belong in the relationship there are some people who are definitely a little jealous well a lot jealous and it's very essential for you to also see those red flags and to keep those people at a distance at arm's length so they don't end up ruining a good thing for you and the buffalo understand all of my soul and number eights that your relationship is meant to be abundant your relationship is meant to feel as though sky is the limit if your soulmate relationship feels anything but like sky is the limit and like it's abundant then you're not in the right relationship in the snake i see unlimited options and possibilities but also cycles that you continuously go through with one another and you will have friends and family come in and out of your lives while you are in a soulmate relationship but what will remain the one constant is your soulmate so you are meant to be in a secured relationship in a committed relationship with a soulmate this is not meant to be a whirlwind romance that you're going to have with your soulmate the camel shows me once again you're in it for the long run you're in it to win it so to say to be together for as long as you both can or live if you will as the camel is an animal that plans ahead right that stores all of the water and nutrients that it needs for any dry times and dry seasons that may come up so your relationship your soulmate relationship is very similar in that regard let's move into some letters of your soulmate's name so we've got the okay we've got a blank little tile and the letter e and another blank tile that is very unusual all of my beautiful soul number eights i can show you the other letters that we have here oh there's one that popped out all of these have some sort of letter on them so it's highly unusual to have the two blank ones which shows that there is a lot of possibility and options there's another letter that popped out as i was taking the um, different tiles out to show you we've got the letter i so take these two letters as potential initials but do know here with these blank tiles that this leaves a lot of room for interpretation this may also mean that it's just their nickname that comes with the letters i and e it could mean that they changed their name legally which is why we've got these blank tiles because something is hidden about their name something is not 100% clear and transparent. We've got the violin as well as this tea set. So they are most likely a musically very gifted and talented person. Maybe they even played the violin. And I see here in this tea set that they have amazing manners. They're someone who you can take anywhere. It doesn't matter how fancy it is, they will be able to feel comfortable. We also have these glasses, which is a sign of reading intelligence just overall continuing to learn continuing to educate themselves even 
past being in school or being in some sort of course and that is exactly who your soulmate is and how the relationship is going to be structured all my beautiful soul number eights this is the second part to your prediction that i received for you i hope you found it insightful and fun and let me know down below if you've made it this far don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss another highly personalizable pick a card reading and i'll catch you in one of my upcoming predictions hello all my beautiful soul number nines and welcome to your soul numbers soulmate prediction we've got so many soul references within this video i absolutely love it lean back relax and enjoy the second super personalized part of your soulmate reading we've got the tiger the eagle as well as the swan which is already a very interesting start Let's see what else we have about your soulmate. We've got peaceful resolution and not the right time as well as yes. So I want you to know here that your soulmate is currently going through a little bit of a tough time. I can see that it's them against the world. Their friends and family don't really agree with the decisions that they're making in their life right now, but they will come to a peaceful resolution. And I see here within the tiger that they're not backing down. So your soulmate is someone who is very headstrong and open so stubborn they're goal oriented i see that here in the eagle another thing about your relationship as well is the fact that communication is something that you're good at i see that in the eagle as well as the swan you both know exactly how to word things in order to ensure that the other person doesn't feel hurt and you're making use of it one thing that i do see here though in the eagle as well as not the right time is that right now it is not the right time for all of my soul number nines to be focusing on a soulmate relationship as i can see within the swan that you still have some personal projects that need to be completed and finished but then you've got the green light and you can go full steam ahead into a lasting soulmate relationship that can bring you years and years of joy and love maybe even a lifetime let's look at some letters within their name shall we we've got the letters v as well as g so these are their initials or just prominent letters within their name let's see what we get when we pick a few charms when it comes to your soulmate we've got the hand we've got the dinosaur and we've got this little heart on a lock so all of my soul number nines i do see here that they are the type of person who remembers basically everything they're a very thoughtful individual and they're most likely also going to be older than you i see within the hand that their love language is touch i see that with this little heart on a lock as well as the hand and you're able to unlock this beautiful heart with the lock by using touch, right? By using your hands or a different form of touch. So all of my beautiful soul number nines, this is the additional information that I have for you about your soulmate. I hope that you enjoyed this second super personalized part of your reading. Let me know below by leaving a tiger emoji in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions. Hello all my beautiful soul number 10s and welcome to the second and even more highly personalized part of your soulmate prediction. Let's get straight into it so we can figure out exactly what lies ahead of your soul numbers soulmate situation. So soul number 10 we've got a year from now and we've got abundance. Okay, so love and your soulmate is going to be here in abundance a year from now. And I can see here that we've also got forgiveness. So an important part on your road to being in a soulmate relationship is forgiveness, forgiving past lovers, but also a family member, especially if you have parents that have done how should i say a subpar job at being a parent you need to forgive in order to be able to free yourself and open up a space in which you can invite your soulmate into in which a relationship may thrive and i see that a year from now your life is going to be filled with abundance and you're going to know ah forgiveness that was the right thing to do for me because i did it for me and not in order to condone someone else's behavior I can see here within the B that your soulmate relationship is going to be hard work, but it's going to be so rewarding and you're going to feel like 
what you're doing really matters. I see that your soulmate relationship will give you purpose. So think of maybe also having your own family, rescuing animals, having children of your own. And I do see here within the octopus that you are meant to be with someone who is very intelligent. The octopus is such an intelligent creature. If you haven't seen my octopus teacher on Netflix, you have to watch it. All of my beautiful soul number 10s, it is on my must watch list and so many of you have already watched it on my recommendation and even come back to comment and let me know what an amazing eye-opening movie that that was so i do want you to know here in the bee and the octopus that your relationship also has certain structures that are unique to your relationship i see within the butterfly that unlike some other relationships that always have the same routines like for example going to your job having dinner watching tv going to bed your relationship continues to evolve and grow there is always this type of metamorphosis that's going on. So you may start off with a type of routine like that. You both want to push one another to get better. So you and your soulmate are constantly working on being more disciplined and being more how should I say, intelligent with your time, being productive, but at the same time having work-life balance so you're constantly evolving how you're spending time with one another. Sometimes you may work out together, sometimes you may just sit and relax, other times you may listen to podcasts. I see here within the hawk that you're always on the lookout for amazing opportunities and deals. So think always looking out for great flight deals, for example, amazing opportunities when it comes to business and your career and you're pushing one another to see beyond limitations perceived limitations and look at the big picture let's see what your soulmates initials are all of my soul and number tens we've got g as well as t i will leave these two letters right here for you and let's also add a few charms into your reading shall we using these velvet bags that come with all of the bow life orders that ship from my online store so we've got the mushroom we've got this little um not wrench like this tong type thing i'm not sure what it's called and oh we've got two of these boat steering wheel things today is just not a good day when it comes to my english all of my beautiful soul number tens but you get what I'm trying to say. In the mushroom, I can see here that this relationship is really expansive and you're going to have an influence in more people's lives than you ever thought because in case you didn't know, the mushroom is like the biggest living organism as it can stretch out for kilometers on end you can have like the same type of mushroom continue to grow next up we've got this steering wheel as well as this little um tong type thing so i do want you to know here that when it comes to the relationship you both individually have goals and places that you're steering towards but you're not afraid to adjust in order to ensure that you're making your soulmate happy at all times you and your soulmate are always willing to change course as well as ensure that you're both moving in a similar direction so you don't outgrow the relationship individually so you can stay together forever at least for a very long time i see here within rejection that that is one thing that you may feel when you think about forgiveness you don't want to forgive as you felt a deep sense of rejection in your life and that may be kind of really tempting to keep you where you are right now all of my beautiful soul number tens but i see here that that is literally just anxiety that is speaking i hope that you're able to see this card it's a little bit hard to see but it is the anxiety card so it's important for you once again here in the hawk see the big picture when you have your soulmate in your life they are going to be the ones seeing the big picture for you but until then you got to do it for yourself and you got to prove to the universe all of my beautiful soul number tens that you can look out for yourself and that you can see the big picture on your own as well and then you'll be ready for love then you'll be ready to have someone in your life but you first have to grow a little bit more confident and whole as you are without a soulmate before you will be able to receive your soulmate into your life and into your existence.
distance but they're here it's a loving relationship it's a relationship that is built on trust and mutual support and i can't wait for you to be in it so all of my beautiful soul number 10s this is a soulmate reading that i received for you make sure you leave an octopus emoji down below in the comment section to let me know that you are a soul a number 10 and that you made it through the second part of your prediction thank you so much for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me and i'll catch you during one of my upcoming readings hello all my beautiful soul number 11s and welcome to your soul numbers soulmate prediction i'm gonna get straight into it all you need to do is lean back relax and enjoy the second and highly personalized addition to your soulmate prediction we've got trust first and foremost we've got no need to worry okay all my beautiful soul and number 11s as well as opportunity so i can instantly see here that it's important for you to trust as there is no need to worry and the opportunity to be with your soulmate will be here and it will be here very abundantly it will be very clear that your soulmate is here once they have arrived within your life i can see here in the hawk that it's important for you to see the big picture to not stress about the little details about the hows and whens and how much longer as i can see here within the lizard that you run risk of actually just pushing your whole soulmate opportunity further away the more you stress out about it because i can definitely see that it is deeply affected by how you react on an emotional level by how stressed or anxious you are about your soulmate and whether you will find them or not i see here within the whale that you're definitely also meant to be with someone who is very family oriented and kind of like speaks the same language as you do in whale pods they have like their individual little languages and i think whales can understand one another on a basic level but they usually have their own individual languages within their families and i see here within the whale that this is what your soulmate relationship is meant to be like it's like you speak your own language you don't even need words necessarily to communicate you already know what the other person is thinking or wanting to say and how they are feeling and there are a lot of inside jokes that's one thing that i see here for your soulmate so we've got the letters i two times as well as the letter e for you as well so the letter i is obviously a very important letter within your soulmate soulmate's name all of my beautiful soul number 11s and we also have the letter e these are their initials these are important parts of their name let's also add some charms into your reading shall we so we have a star we have a poodle a standard poodle with a continental haircut we have a bird as well as a horse a lot of animals so i do want you to know here that your soulmate is someone who loves animals and i can see here that they love to celebrate them as well so don't be surprised if your soulmate celebrates their pet's birthday or your joint pet's birthday i do also want you to know here in the standard poodle with the continental cut that they take extraordinarily good care of themselves physically and emotionally your soulmate loves self-care and that is something that will rub off on you as i can see here within the bird that that makes you feel more free to do the same as well and the star gives you hope that like hey I can actually be better as well because you see your soulmate being better every single day. The horse shows me that it's also important for you to ensure that you keep your own freedom, that you keep your own things going, even when you've got your soulmate in your life, all of my beautiful soul number 11s, and that having your independence is not just something that is good in case of a potential breakup, just because your soulmates doesn't mean that you will never break up with a soulmate but it is also important for you to keep your self-confidence and trust in yourself next up we've got the hematite in the hematite i do want you to understand here there will be this culmination where you will know exactly where the relationship leads uh, pretty early on in your connection so if you're currently dating all of my soul number 11s and someone is hot and cold just as in the lizard you already know that's not the 
single one. Furthermore, we've got the Larimar, which shows me here that you have to, once again, just keep a broad perspective and ensure here that just because you may experience rejection while dating or you're afraid of rejection, that doesn't say anything about your worth and value or about your future, right? Just because, for example, an entrepreneur makes one bad business move or has one business that has failed doesn't make them a bad business person or it doesn't mean that they can never be successful again. The same applies, of course, for your love life. And if you once thought that you were with a soulmate and it ended up not really being it for you, do definitely understand here that of course it's normal to feel as though the ground beneath your feet was just like ripped away that's one thing that i see in the hematite but you can get back on your feet you you can get back to a place where you know you can trust yourself and your judgment and there's absolutely no need to worry about your soulmate situation all of my soul and number 11s trust that there is someone out here that is meant to be with you and the opportunity is most likely closer than you expect it to be and to see the big picture in the grand scheme waiting another couple months or even one or two years isn't going to make that big of a difference if you end up in a soulmate relationship that will last for a lifetime i do want to see if we can figure out a timeline for you soul number 11 because somehow i just feel like we're not done with your reading if you know what I mean. So we've got meditation brings answers. Okay, so you will find some sort of sensation in meditation that will give you an idea of when you are meant to meet your soulmate or be with your soulmate. We also have a listen to your intuition. Those are some ways in which you can get on the same energetic vibration as your soulmate and we've got a year from now Whew, okay so all of my beautiful soul number 11s i do want you to know here that most likely a year from now you will be able to be with your soulmate you will know who your soulmate is they will be revealed they will potentially be in your lives and you'll have a solidified relationship which means that you'll meet them beforehand because it takes a little bit of time for a relationship to solidify but this gives you a timeline so all of my beautiful soul number 11s this is the soulmate prediction that i received for you i hope you enjoyed the second and super personalized part of your prediction let me know down below by leaving a whale emoji in the comment section Thank you once again for being here and for spending this divine time and space with me, and I'll catch you during one of my upcoming predictions.